Today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the new and improved way to run the double mug defense in Madden 25. If you guys want to get my updated double mug defensive ebook, it is going to be available in our school community. If you're not a member of the school community yet, it's only 10 bucks to become a member, and I'll put a link to that in the description if you want to sign up. We actually just dropped a brand new Minnesota Vikings defensive ebook over there as well. Uh, I think Minnesota is probably the most versatile defense, um, the most versatile defensive playbook in the game. It just has everything that you could need, and it is very, very effective. So if you want to check all that stuff out, cool part about school is you get access to everything for Madden and for college football. That link is going to be in the description down below. So 2-4 double mug, how do you run it post-patch and what makes it good? Uh, what makes this defense honestly good is the fact that now I actually think the pressure got better post-patch. And you can, you can now run it out of literally anything that you want. You can run out of any play. You don't have to be in a specific play uh, to be able to run the defense which I think is super helpful. So we're going to basically do everything in this video out of the cover three sky because it's a really easy defense to adjust out of and you're not going to get motion glitched or anything like that. And literally just call cover three sky. So first thing I want to break down is the blitz, the blitz aspect of this defense. And then we'll talk about how I like to use it to cover bunch and trips uh, i have the lions playbook which is pretty much the meta playbook i want to show you kind of how i would set this up so the base look that i like to give pre-snap within this defense is i like to show blitz that's going to bring both of these safeties down into the box like so and then basically what you want to do within this defense is you want to user this right side linebacker all right. And sometimes what can happen is you can actually get pressure on a send four, just like this right here, just running down at the center. Sometimes these guys can actually loop around and you can get pretty crazy pressure like that. Now, the easy way to send five out of this is you're just going to blitz your linebacker on the left side. Again, I would bring the safeties kind of into an advantageous uh, position. But basically, it looks something like this. If you want to play cover two on one side and cover three on the other, be my guest. But this sin five is really effective. As you can see, you get that edge pressure. Now, another way that you could run uh, this defense is you could use her this left of screen defensive end and kind of use both linebackers in the blitz. That's another option for you. So I'll show you kind of what that might look like. You'll see here it's a little cleaner of edge pressure. And again, all we're, all we're literally doing is we're just showing blitz, blitzing the linebackers, and then we're just kind of creating a coverage around that. So it looks something like this. This is a send five blitz. As you see, you're going to get one guy free. Now, if I want to do that send four blitz uh, and kind of give the same basic look, one of the things that you can actually do here is you can send a linebacker. So if you want to send a linebacker like this, sometimes it'll get that right side guy free. Didn't right there, but sometimes it can get that right side guy free. Now, another thing that you can do within this defense is you can use her this safety right here. Um, this is a little bit more of an aggressive style of way to run the defense, but I don't think it's a terrible way to do it because in this year's game, you can actually play pretty good defense. If you like, let's say we take this tight end and let's man up this linebacker on this solo with tight end, and then we can have a soft squad over here. This isn't terrible, right? So you could do something like this or have a quarter or a backside deep half. Whatever you want to do, but what you're going to see is this send four, you can sometimes get a little bit more success with getting these outside linemen uh, to come in. Another thing you can do if you're trying to get the send four, the send four is super inconsistent. Okay, I'm going to say that real quick. Um, it is super inconsistent, but you can also um, you can also just contain, and sometimes they'll just absolutely loop around the tackle. But in general, the send five is going to be very consistent. If they're sending five out, you're going to consistently get pressure on a send five. And then the nice thing about this is occasionally this Sin 4 can uh, get you some pretty crazy pressure. And when you get the Sin 4 pressure, it just makes everything easier for you defensively. But then the other thing I want to show you is the Sin 6. Now, there's a couple ways to Sin 6 from this. One of the ways to Sin 6 is to just blitz the linebackers, and we're just going to ball like this. And as you see, it's going to come in against a blocked running back. So that's one way to Sin 6, and I think it is a really good way to Sin 6. 
However, it does require that you use her this safety. If you don't want to use her this safety, you can use her this, and you can actually send the slot corner. What you're going to get when you send the slot corner is you're going to get that slot corner to come in free on a send six, which, again, we're just trying to force them uh, to have to kind of respect the fact that we can send six at any point. Another thing that you can do, though, is you can send the safety in a cover three, right? And then what that's going to do is, as you can see, you well, that safety didn't come in quite as cleanly as I want him to, but he can uh, totally come through the B gap on this. So there's a lot of different ways to send six within this defense. Another way you could do it is user this defensive end. Again, I would probably do something like a cover two shell on one side, and then I can switch stick around. What this is going to do a really good job of is, as you see, the pressure is going to come in. And what's going to basically happen in double mug is when they block their running back, this is really a great time where we can just situation like, like I really like this send four against a blocked running back. The reason why is because running back is always going to block this linebacker. And then sometimes that defensive end will come around and that linebacker gets a one-on-one. -on -one, and that's just really advantageous uh, for the for the totality of uh, for the totality of the defense. So again, I love the send four. I think the send four is really good. One other thing that you can do with the send four is if you stand like over in this area, sometimes it can get this thing to come in a little bit better. You're just trying to basically get these guards uh, to get these guards to kind of dumb out. Let's see if we can get it here. Nah, we're not quite getting. I almost think our defense line might even be too fast to be honest. But um, but anyway, you have that, and then you have the double edge. I really like this as well, just because it's hard to block it, and the pressure is going to come in really well. And then situationally, you could do things like, you know, just throw a little vert hook out here, maybe a deep half that can play like a tight end seam streak or something like that that you have uh, within this. So now what I wanted to do in this little video breakdown is I wanted to give you an explanation of what I like to do against the two most popular formations in the game, bunch and trips. And specifically, uh, right now, I think it's super popular to have kind of this is like the meta play that pretty much everyone's running is something like this because this is what Fancy was running. And this can obviously be kind of hard. This play is really good. So how do I like to defend this play? So the way that I like to defend Bunch in general is I really like to do really two methods for defending Bunch. The first method... Uh, for defending bunch is to run a quarter uh, on both safeties. This is going to really help, especially this formation, because you have seam streak threats on both sides. You have to have something like this right here. Then what we're going to do is we are going to have a soft squat on the bunch side and a vertical hook like this. And then I'm pretty much just going to send four like this. I think this is a pretty decent way to defend bunch, you might want to back this guy up on the right so that the soft squat will play a little bit better. But essentially, this is kind of my base setup for defending bunch because what I'm going to be able to do with my user here is I can get a lot accomplished with my user and then I can switch stick onto that right side quarter and bite down on this post. So what you're going to see is, and I like to outside quarter this guy on the left side. If you want to shade outside, you can. But essentially, they're going to snap the ball, and I'm going to run over here, and that's going to immediately scare them away from throwing that, and then I'm going to try to switch stick right here. And as you see, if they send five out, it's going to be pretty much guarded. So that's one of my favorite uh, base shells against Bunch. And let's say I wanted to send four. Uh, if I want to send four against Bunch, and let's say I wanted to creep and use her on uh, this linebacker right here, it'd be very, very similar defense. We'd basically do something like this. And then what I would have is I would have my cover two on the right side. I'm a big believer in cover two against bunch to the bunch side with the soft squat. I think it's the best way to play bunch because you can easily switch stick onto the soft squat and take this away. And then the main thing we have to watch out for is that tight end post or the slot post. So I'll typically cross man my user on one of those players. And it basically would look something like this right here. And as you can see, I've got to kind of watch this tight end, but essentially I'll sit on the tight end for a second. And then what I really like to do here, guys, I love that once I see that, I just switch it onto the, onto the quarter and just bite down on the post. 
So that's how I like to use this defense to defend against Bunch. Now I want to show you how I like to use this defense to defend against Trips, as those are really the two most popular formations in this game. So if I'm playing an opponent that is running a lot of Trips tight ends, specifically this play motion wide post, one of my favorite plays to come out in is actually cover three seam, which is slightly different than cover three sky. Now, one problem with this is as you see, it does kind of misalign the defense a little bit. And the way that you can kind of get around that is you can change your shell. So if we go into our shell here, let's try to use the cover two shell out of this. And you're gonna see that, oh, I guess it still did misalign this guy. So you know what? We can just do it out of the out of any play with the both linebackers blitzing. Trips is known for doing stuff like this. So if I just come out, let me actually I keep uh, hitting the wrong button. So if I just come out in a regular shell, and now we're gonna just use again a play with both linebackers blitzing, such as nickel dog rebuzz. As you can see, both linebackers are blitzing. This is gonna keep everything kind of nice and packed. And then when we show blitz, we're gonna get this look right here. Now, the beauty of this variation of the defense and really how I like to defend trips, if you think about it, I really like to use her this defensive end against trips. I don't think you're ever in a situation where you really need to send six. I think send five is perfectly fine against this. And I'm going to use her this defensive end. And the reason why is because all I have to do to set up my blitz is just slant my D line down. And then from there, I can kind of go about making my adjustments. And the adjustments I like to use against trips is I like to seam flat this outside player. I like to middle third this safety here. I like to inside quarter this guy here. And then on the right side, I love to have a soft squat. And I'm going to take my user and I'm going to input him into a hook zone, uh, like a vert hook zone like this. Now, basically the idea here, and, and we can back this uh, soft squat up. But basically the idea within this defense is this is going to be a match defense if they stay in trips. So if they stay in trips and they run something like this, my primary thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to switch stick onto this middle third uh, and I'm going to basically take away the tight end. So I see that I just switch stick on the middle third and I take this away. As you see, the match is going to take away the other routes on the play. However, if they motion out of trips, I'm going to have to slightly tweak this coverage and the main thing that's going to change about this coverage is we're just going to have uh, an inside quarter instead of a third, and then we're going to have an outside quarter. So again, the defense looks like this, basically, and feel free to contain out of this as well. And essentially, we're like this, and then we see, oh no, they're going to motion over. So kind of similar to Bunch when they motion over, you can just stay in this. The only thing you might want to do is put a deep half there, but even that is like perfectly fine. What I would really recommend doing, though, is you see this motion over. If you see the running back going around, I would just switch stick onto the soft squat and take this away and make them take their underneath. So I don't think it's, like, too complicated. Another little, like, super advanced thing that you could do if you wanted to uh, really kind of make this difficult on your opponent is you could man this guy up to the running back. If they're doing a lot of motion over, this could be a good opportunity because what that's going to do is this man up to the running back is going to make it super hard. They can't throw like angle routes. They can't throw table routes. They can't do any of that stuff. And then what you're able to do here is you're able to switch stick onto this. And then lately, late you can switch stick and bite down onto the tight end. So these are a couple of my simple, uh, simple shells that I like against trips. One other thing I did want to say just real quick that you can do. I really, really like, you know, just a simple coverage defense like this. I think this is a super simple defense against trips. And if you want to, again, because most of the time the way this game plays, you're going to be in a position where you could take this you know, linebacker and crossman him on somebody. I think this is perfectly fine and a really nice little adjustment. And then situationally, again, you always want to be switch sticking onto that soft squad if you need to. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to check out any of my stuff out of the Vikings ebook, make sure you join our school community. The link to sign up is in the description below.